next uh, next question. Yes. Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Mr. C from the Exer extraordinary group of companies. First of all, I'd like to enlighten Mr. Pineda on his uh, comment about the lack of developers for socialized housing. Um, we've, uh, we've been a company of some developers who have been focused on socialized housing. Our company has been in socialized housing since 1983. At least 30% of our business is into socialized housing. From what I understand from Pag-ibig last year, almost um, close to 60% of their loan takeout are still for socialized housing, except that because of the nominal value of the product, um, when, when matched against the middle income housing values, it pales in comparison. The second is that uh, I'd like to uh, make a comment on... Could, uh, sorry, could you say where, where do you operate? Extraordinary group of companies. It, no, in this in this region or in a different. I, yes, I'm here in. We operate in Calabar Zone. Okay. Okay. The second comment that I'd like to share is that the dilemma that our low-income segment faced with regards to uh, um, making house choice. As long as the businesses will be centralized in the metropolis. And as long as property values in the metropolis will gain appreciation, our lowest income segment would face a dilemma of transportation cost and the affordability of the houses. I was thinking that maybe our um, government sector, maybe even for HGC or even for Pag-ibig, for the other sectors of the government, to go beyond the definition of their titles as housing and understand that there are other sectors that the housing can actually contribute and still in the end provide solutions to it. And an example with that would be, what if HGC secures not just the guarantees of the loan, but secures the performance or buildup of transport infrastructure. Because the transport infrastructure is the very means that will allow the, the low income segment to bridge the gap between their housing affordability and the higher transport cost. Or what if the Pag-ibig or some government institutions can raise bonds that will support the build up of mass transport system and or provide subsidies for the transport costs of the low income sector. Because if it can be done, then it will not be difficult for developers to sell to the bottom of the pyramid. They would no longer have this second thoughts of choosing a house which is as far as perhaps 40 to 50 kilometers from where they are currently employed. So uh, that is a thing that I'd like to raise for our, our government sector. Okay, so, the, so the, the point is uh, um, bringing together urban planning and, and housing solutions and, and thinking about it uh, in that vein. Um, we have a, um, Toby will make a, make a. Hello, yeah. I, I think, um, I agree with you, but I think what the, the point, the, the more important point uh, is that the housing problem is not just the housing sector's problem. In other words, you have to embed for a, for a real solution to the housing problem, you have to embed housing within a larger urbanization framework. And that includes um, connective transport infrastructure, you know, uh, planning on a metro level and so forth. And, and frankly, this is not the core mission nor the skill of HGC or Pagibig. And I think it would be a mistake um, to ask them to do that. Uh, I, I think HGC already is, is kind of shaky in terms of its um, you know, balance sheet and so forth, precisely because 
um, uh, it you know it has kind of lost focus as to what it's supposed to do. Um, I, originally, HGC was supposed to help in the secondary market, and in fact, Pagibig's uh, own strength, I think, you know, may be wasted in simple retail lending. What it can do is it can um, it can it can precisely start that secondary market for as long as its mortgages are priced properly, which it's not. So until um, Pag Ibig's mortgages can be priced properly, um, and and that it can separate its subsidy donor function, which the government is making it do now, um, from its role as a provident fund and investor, um, you know, th th then that's the only time where you can start thinking secondary markets, and you know that's my question, I guess, to the group too. You know, the the question is, I'm not. I'm not convinced that housing finance is the best intervention for, low, for, for the poor in terms of housing solutions. I think the, the, you know, in terms of developing the housing finance market, the biggest contribution of that would be capital market development. You know, that's what we need in order to you know, uh, deepen you know, uh, capital markets, investments, and so forth. In that way, grow. Right, and it, when when you grow, then you are able to provide better social protection for for the poor, and and um, if you look at the constraints of uh, the lowest income, I, I'm not sure it's the availability of a mortgage loan. I think the the constraint has to do with land tenure, the constraint has to do with uh, location. Okay, these are not solved by housing finance. You know, these are solved by other interventions, and only maybe on the second and third stage that you know you can talk about um, bigger uh, finance interventions. In the meantime, we still need to fix the housing finance markets for other reasons. You know, in, in order to you know for efficiency reasons, capital market reasons, and so forth. So that's why I think the the challenge now to to Pagibig, which is so central to housing finance, is to decide. What it's going to be? Is it going to help, you know, a deepen finance markets, or is it going to continue to simply subsidize uh, what government, um, you know, government social policy, you know, or you know, we might just remain as a deposit, you know, very primary uh, housing finance system, and not be able to source front funds from the capital markets, because right now we source funds from deposits, not the capital markets for housing finance. I think we're actually actually in, a, in agreement here. There's, there are bigger issues. There are urban planning issues, transportation issues, um, and, and that that Ronnie pointed out uh, at the beginning. And uh, these these are enormous issues. Housing finance is one. If you if you look at this one, just one aspect of a much 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 bigger, uh, much much bigger issue. Um, and so I, on, on that point, I think that there's a there's, there's a, a lot of agreement.